they might have a guest account, but they won't um, allow it to get anywhere which um, they don't want to be changed. So you'll most likely have to make your own um, your own account. So just click the login type and click account there. And now the user, um, when you create your FTP account, uh, it you should have to uh, give a username and also when you get that listing of info it should show what your new username is uh, just in case there was any prefix or something um, so for, for this um, tutorial I'm just gonna say my user is tutorial user okay then the password is same as the user they'll ask you for a password and uh, it will give in the listing it will show you a password I'm just gonna say the password is pass okay um, and now account is the same as user. Just copy, excuse me, copy and paste that. And you can put comments about this website in this box if you want to. Um, now you click OK to save that. And now we can go back and click that website, uh, that site, and click connect. And if it existed, it would st it would now connect. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about the port. Um, basically, the default FTP port. Actually, I should probably explain what a port is for any people who don't know. Um, a port is like uh, imagine it as a tunnel, okay? Um, and on that tunnel, actually no, just imagine it as a tunnel. For this port, just imagine it as an open tunnel and that tunnel leads into the server of the host, okay? Um, now, um, ports are recognized by numbers um, and the default port when connecting to an FTP server is 21. So, imagine um, when as soon as you hit the connect button, uh, there's like um, your computer searches around whoops one sec guys um, <laughs> sorry uh, your computer searches around and it goes to uh, the host and then it searches around in the tunnels that lead into the host some of them are blocked off because they uh, the host doesn't want people going in to places where they don't want things changed and some of them are completely open because um, some stuff is okay um, now Imagine it finds this tunnel, and on the tunnel it sees the number 21 painted on, okay? And it's going to go inside that tunnel, and it's going to enter the web server, okay? And that's basically what the port is. It's a tunnel into the web server. Um, so, and the default tunnel into the web server is tunnel 21, okay? Um, now, most likely you would find that tunnel is closed because the host doesn't want people going again it doesn't want people going into somewhere where they don't want things being changed so that door would be closed there'll be a door over the uh, over the tunnel and maybe a little access panel where you type in your username and password and that's where we'd send over our username and password in these boxes so a port is like a tunnel into somewhere and the default port or tunnel, if you will, um, into the host via FTP is 21. Now, if you've been explicitly told that uh, they use a different port for FTP, then you'll need to change that. You'll need to type in that number of the port in there. Okay. Otherwise, you can leave it blank. If you want, in fact, you can type 21 doesn't actually matter. By default it will assume that the port is 21 so to save time you don't actually need to type 21 in here. But if you feel like it, go ahead. Um, so that's basically all I can say about uh, FileZilla. Um, now there's one cool thing I wanted to show you guys and that is the Windows FTP. Um, now while Windows FTP is probably not as efficient as FileZilla, it's quite cool and I thought um, I'd just show you guys for for uh, the fun of it. Um, so if you go here, you can see um, I've just opened a file browser, okay? And in this bar, I've just typed in something. 
I've typed in FTP colon forward slash forward slash. Now notice if we just open, for instance, um, my web browser. I'm watching Athene. <laughs> um, you can see here it says HTTP HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. So the only difference between these is the letters before it, and um, that's because. Um, uh, when you connect to a website, you're going, um, you're connecting to its HTTP port, I guess. Um, so you can do the same thing, just with, but, uh, but by typing FTP, and in that way you can connect to um, an FTP port. Okay, and the way this works is you just type FTP colon forward slash forward slash, then you type your username and then you type a colon and then you type your password and then you type an at sign and then you type the host so in my case I had um, tutorial user colon my password was pass and the host was tutorial.com and again if this all existed I could just press enter and it would connect to the uh, FTP server using those details. Um, you can see it's going to say Windows cannot access this folder, make sure you type the name correctly, blah blah blah. A connection with this server could not be established. That's because my user info was incorrect. I'm pretty sure there must be a website called tutorial.com, so that's all that could uh, be the problem. Um, anyway guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, over and out.